Hey, what's up, LNC fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Dr. Vlad, in the house, and we're back on this beauty, part four. In this video, we're gonna repair the bodywork, fix the quarter panel, the door, and we're gonna start painting the whole side. Also, the bumpers came in. Ooh, super excited about the bumpers. We'll start painting them as well. So yeah, should be a fun video. Once again, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification because you don't want to miss any new content. We got new content every week, new week, new content. So thank you once again and enjoy the video. Guess what just came in? A big package of goodies just arrived. So you guys want to take a closer look? Boom! I got a rear bumper, front bumper, side skirts, headlights, tail lights, fog lights, and exhaust tip. So let the S63 conversion begin. Man, this thing's gonna look so sick. And I got 22 inch wheels coming in very soon as well. So all this good stuff going on this. So this is the last time you guys are gonna see this kind of a look. And then after that, 2013 S63. So right now I'm gonna remove the bumper, the tail lights, because we're gonna change the tail lights and start repairing the quarter a little bit. So let's do it, let's do it. Chips is there? There's two main chips, but there's a couple specials. Two color chip, color match. We did a couple of spray outs. One of these look good. I mean, you can see the bumpers black and then the quarters and that differs because the substrate is painted on this is metal and this is plastic and the way the paint dries it affects the color and basically see if we try and match it up with the bumper this one looks this one looks like it's on point So as you can tell, even from the factory, the cover is off. Just because it's uh, metal and plastic, and sometimes they paint the bumpers and the rockers at a different location than the body. Uh, and then they put them together. Later. And then it's assembled all together. Got the Gucci man in the house. What are you doing, bud? Heading to the beach, get some food. Uh, my must, lady must be nice. Got some office chairs, some lazy boys. Keep the back in point. Awesome. We got K Dog in the house. What's up? What's up? Dude, I can't believe you got such a sick car with such low miles right? for like that it? price. Must be like nice. Right, yeah. Hashtag blessed. Look, look at that thing. Wow, like a machine, machine. You thought the other S-Class was clean? This, this is the real deal. Holy cow. Still smells good, huh? It smells like 
new. New, yeah. Holy cow. Do you know who the old owner was? Some uh, Japanese lady. Wow. Uh, they left the CDs in there, so it sounds like a Japanese. According to, to the subscribers, they said it sounds like a Japanese music. There you go. They it's know best. Probably the Japanese president was driving this thing. <laughs> I am. Yeah, one is the bumper is like black and the quarter is like creamy black. So probably gotta match it up to the bumper or to the quarter. To the quarter, I'll have to play with it a little bit. But with, uh, at least we got a little idea, some kind of a base that we could start with. But yeah, it's the, that's the the difficult part to match it up 100% perfect. And then bumper and metal, plastic and metal is completely different re reaction you get. So we'll play around a little bit more. We'll do a couple more uh, spray outs and uh, hopefully we'll get that ideal color. Damn, we're driving this bad boy. Rich, rich man. We got the rich man in the house. Let's hear it. Sounds uh, rusty. Yeah. How do you afford cars like this at such a young age? Hustle hard, kids. Hustle hard. Stay in school. School doesn't do anything. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs and uh, hustle. Hustle like there's no tomorrow. It's Saturday. Me and Andre we're hustling, and he's gonna go have some fun with his girlfriend. They're gonna go to the beach, relax. But we'll continue working. I want to get this done as soon as possible. Damn. Send it! Little sand. Little sand. Mr. Tommy! What do you think of the hooligan? The hooligan? Yeah, your twin, up, your up twin, to no good. Your twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> so what, you put everything back together? Yeah. Damn, Daniel! I, I just had the back off. I was doing a little carburetor adjustment while I'm at it. This oh, is see, a, it runs good. <laughs> this is a 60-year-old uh, kid. <laughs> what do you mean 60? Oh, yeah, 50. 50, oh, my bad, my bad. It's, it's the gray. It's the gray. He's getting the grader. Hopefully, mine's not gonna be like that. Or they, it will. They do have dye. Oh. Looks like you use it, dude. No, uh, not you're, yet. You're still, you're still a young man. Yeah. So jealous. This is what Mr. Tommy likes to do yes, on I his do. Uh, free time. Look, he got all kinds of toys. So, so those are our good neighbors. This is my brother from another mother, pretty much. But. This is uh, where we do all our alignment, and if we gotta do any mechanical, those are the boys that take care of us. But check out this project. I know you guys seen this car in my uh, videos. They're doing something crazy. This is the Ferrari, this is the replica. So they stripped it down. We're actually uh, looking for a Mustang, like a 17 Mustang GT. Uh, menu and we're gonna do a swap like we're gonna use the engine transmission and some of the other little things so we're actually trying to buy one from IA or Copart so everything's gonna go into this replica Ferrari because right now the engine that it has it's a little weak and it's an automatic and our customer wants a menu so this thing's gonna be a beast when they're done with it so yeah, this is this is the next door mechanic shop. Mr. Tommy is the man. So yeah, he was changing uh, his uh, transmission, right? Disc gear, uh, disc gear is changing. Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna go riding tomorrow. Did you put a new tire? No, they're old. It looks kind of new. Yeah, the front doesn't wear near as fast as the back. And then a good old 500 eats up tires. Like Crazy, huh? oh, like, 
Crazy guy. Chains, rockets. But if you want to play, you got to pay. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to pay. All right, well, I'll see you later. I got to get back on the Benzo. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, uh, Andre just bought this uh, 2013 GL 450. Formatic really clean, just a minor re-ran damage. All he had to do is just get a new bumper and that's it and the car is ready to go so this car is going to be for sale so if anybody's interested in buying this hit me up a really nice clean car black on black all-wheel drive formatic so let us know if you guys are interested in that machine and that beast so yeah let's continue removing the bumper the back end apart completely everything from the trunk tail lights we're gonna be replacing them anyways and now we could start repairing the quarter just a little ding right here not a biggie should be real quick and ready for primer and whenever you're using a welder or spot welder any kind of welding you got to put this on the battery so you don't damage any of your electrics you know very important I know a lot of people are not using it but it's kind of bad, you gotta use it so you don't fry any electronics. So let's slap this on and we'll start uh, pulling that. We'll use this uh, spot well pull and kind of pull it out as much as we can, make it straight and even, and then we'll put a little bit of Bondo. So yeah, once you put it on on the battery, you get a green light. Everything is good to go. now after I pulled this out and everything came out perfect it was just a small little scrape so it looks nice and clean and even now so right now I'll use a 80 grit sandpaper so I'm just gonna clean everything up around here and then apply a little bondo and that's it and I believe I have a little thing right here I could feel something right here, so I'll throw some bondo as well. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of bondo, and once again, we're using the 3M uh, filler this and mix this up and we're good but now I got an 80 block and I'm just gonna send it down really carefully and then we'll apply the final glaze and ready for primer so right now I'll be using 80 and then once I apply the glaze I'll use 150 and then I'll use 320. Before I put glaze I usually like to go over it with 320 just to get rid of like the, the heavy marks like hold this and then I'll apply clean layer very thin of glaze and we're done done with the bondo so right now I'm gonna apply a little bit of glaze and here's the glaze just a thin little layer for the final finish look and we're done, ready for primer. Ah, 
that is it guys we're done with the body work and the car is ready for primer <laughs> super super excited one more spray out yeah this one's a lot better now that should work i think that's the one we added the yellow that I was missing like a russet brown instead of the blue yeah because it's like little creamy yellowish and creamy sweet that's the money that was the money shot so we're in business <laughs> yes <laughs> it's coming together very very soon we'll be hitting the streets cousin Serge came by on his e30 check it out what do you guys think uh comment below if you're a e30 lover this one's really clean. Damn. What's up, Serge? Say what's up to the vlog. What's up, man? And then I got my cousin Ben. But yeah, check it out. What do you guys think? It's clean, huh? So he repainted completely that body work a few years ago, but it's in like perfect condition. in a spray booth and ready to go I'm just gonna paint them real quick what's the process you gotta go through what do you do first first we're gonna clean the parts get them ready nice and clean no dust um, then we're gonna apply a coat of PPG ECS uh, I believe 89 sealer uh, it's gonna give us a good foundation and it's gonna make the paint stick these parts are plastic so if you don't apply the sealer in the long run, it's going to start peeling, as you see on some of the older cars. Um, then we'll base coat it and clear coat it. It should be good to go. The process you got to go through, always put a sealer. First of all, you got to prep real good and clean everything and then throw some sealer, base paint and then clear coat for the final. And I see you're using rubbing alcohol. Yeah, this is a rubbing alcohol, 70%. Um, not only does it clean, but it gets rid of static. On fresh uh, plastic bumpers, um, they have a lot of static and this gets rid of it. It's kind of an alternative to using a static gun, which are anywhere between 500 to 1,000 dollars, but this process works just as good. And, uh, it's gonna give us a dust-free finish and a good uh, base once again for the sealer. Um, we'll put an adhesive promoter before we put the sealer though. Make it uh, extra, sticky. Uh, extra sticky. Yeah, so there you guys go. And I'll record the whole uh, process of painting and I'll show you the paint and as always we only use PPG paint that's the best paint and I uh, wouldn't use anything else so <laughs> I'm excited a piece of promoter loaded in this gun spray all the parts and then we'll put a coat of uh, black uh, sealer on it give us a good base and proper color match
the gun finish. Gloss is on real, super shiny. Not too much orange peel. Just how we like it. That's it. Let it dry over the weekend. Start putting her back together. For this one, I was using my Iwata W400. So let's go take a look what Andre did. He sprayed the bumpers. Damn! That looks awesome. But let's take a look, guys. Boom, that's the rear bumper. Spotless. Wow, amazing. That's the rockers. And the front bumper. Wow, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And the diffuser and the washers and the covers so yeah bumpers are painted next we're gonna spray the car and we'll start putting the car back together <laughs> wow man i'm excited can't wait but yeah everything coming out perfect uh the car is gonna be amazing what can i say ready for primer and paint let's take a look yeah I had some scrapes on the fender so that you fix this send it down so we'll put some primer also on the door you all saw that scratch in the thing and the quarter so I had a bunch of things here and here so everything's repaired and ready to go and I know I read some of your guys's comments you guys were saying just do a clean touch up and do a dent uh, remove called the dent guy removal so he could pop the thing. It's cheaper gonna be for me just to re repair this and repaint and make it 100% perfect. So yeah, we'll just spray the whole side and it's gonna be 100% perfect. We're masking everything and the car is ready for primer. Jose wrapped it and masking and we're good to go. And this is, by the way, Jose, he's the, the champ. Hello, hello. The champ, he gets all the cars detailed, done. He's the, he's the master. Without Jose, we wouldn't survive here. <laughs> Everything got primered yesterday, so today we'll start painting this beauty. Man, we're getting closer and closer to the finish line. So right now I'm gonna remove this fender. We'll paint the fender separate, because there is a rubber seal, and I don't wanna paint this, so I'm gonna remove the fender and remove the, this uh, rubber seal. And we'll paint the fender separate, and then I'll just reinstall everything once again. That is it, guys, fender is removed. Since Mercedes got so many rubber pieces and gaskets, that's better to remove because I don't want anything to be sprayed or have overspray. So they got one right here, I removed it, one over here. So yeah, a bunch of seals and, and rubber pieces. And this one it goes right here, so I had to remove it because I don't want it to get sprayed. That's gonna be the cleanest, cleanest job ever. So it's gonna look 100% factory paint. I removed the roof molding up here. And also 
the molding around the trunk because the whole quarter is going to get painted and up here we just got to clear everything so I removed so we could get in with the clear so nothing gets overspray and it's going to look clean factory look so once everything's together you're not going to see any lines that the quarter has been painted it's going to look 100% factory that is it guys Mercedes is all prepped and ready to go let's take a look boom so yeah, it has to be like this flat color and we'll start spraying it damn that looks that looks nice that's it guys we got the Mercedes in the spray booth we'll start masking it and spraying it super excited then this is the fun part masking everything oh, what do you think Andre is that your favorite part uh, my least favorite part takes about two hours to prep and mask it and then you can paint it in like 30 minutes. The rest is all the fine. rest is all downhill. Yes, so sir. We're still going uphill right now. Uphill, yeah. This is the, the most crucial part to mask everything so you don't get overspray anywhere. But yeah, the car's gotta look like this, flat. And we are, we're going to paint the bolt doors and then, and quarter, and then we're just going to clear the top section of the car. So yeah, that's the process you got to go through. And we'll paint the fender separate. So the way we check if we got good coverage, make sure no primer is visible. And the spray booth under the light, you can't see anything. But once the car is outside, that's when everything shows up. So we're going to use this uh, sunlight. Turn the lights off and... Check to see what we got. So our primer areas. You don't see the primer lines, which is good. Primer on the door here. And everything looks a okay. We got good coverage. Check the edges. Yeah, so we should be good to go. It's a quick step to check. You can always throw another coat before you clear coat it. But if you don't check and you clear coat it, pull it outside into the sun, and then you see that primer bleeding through. It's going to give you a lot more work, a lot more headache. So do the extra steps and check your work. So I'm going to let it dry for another five minutes. We'll be ready to clear it.
coat. And let it dry five, seven minutes. And then we can do our coat number two. Using 520. Mercedes is officially painted and ready to go. Let's take a closer look. Damn, look at this fender. Nice and shiny. Let's check out the doors. Wow, look how glossy they are. Hey, came out perfect, like factory. That's a wrap for this video. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for part 5 and part 5 we'll start putting the car together, all the bumpers, fender, doors, pretty much getting the car ready for detail, super excited about that, can't wait. If you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you guys like the video, if you don't, sorry, sucks to be you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, do svidanya!